uh, much like uh, COVID, has been wantonly politicized by the, uh, our opponents. The fact of the matter is, and there is a clip about two weeks ago, um, where the head of the meteorological services, or the deputy head of the meteorological services, um, had bylined an article indicating that this is the worst um, drought period that we have had in 90 years. That is a meteorological wow. fact. Hmm. 90, not 90 years, 80 years. That's a meteorological fact. Hmm. It, it cannot be refuted. Uh, the records are there to show that over the past 80 years, hmm. this has been um, the, this drought, uh, the, 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 this, the most, you know, entracted, I'm sorry, um, entrenched drought hmm. period um, hmm. for that period. Now, what does that mean? It means that the surface water sources, the Patrick Dam, is as is, is dry as chips. Mm -hmm. And the groundwater sources, where we would be able to um, get water from the aquifers um, in, in terms of drilling wells, those two have been dried. Mm -hmm. Even if we were to have rains like we had in November of 2020, um, all of a sudden, um, the, the science shows that it's going to take approximately three years, Colin, for the aquifers to be replenished such that APUA can get water again from ground sources to be able to put in the pipes. Mm -hmm. Now, we have multiple problems dealing with the distribution of water. We have an age, um, a decades-old um, water distribution system that are filled with um, cast iron pipes mm -hmm. and um, some PVC pipes that are prone to, 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 to being cracked and... Uh, you know, uh, subject to all sorts of cracks and disruptions whenever the, the, the earth gets dry and, and there's movement of the soil. Mm -hmm. We also have a situation where in order for us to be able to get to um, reverse osmosis, produce water, mm -hmm. these plants are not sitting there like you would normally go and get um, your dry cell batteries in a hurricane from, from a store. Mm -hmm. They have to be manufactured to specification. And um, we are operating a queue system. It, it didn't really help that uh, for the last two years, um, there has been an interruption through the supply of goods and services globally, uh, both in terms of ships uh, as well as um, in terms of manufacturing across the, wo the, the world. Yeah. We happen to have gotten our supplier out of Dubai, mm. a company by the name of Waterworks. And Dubai is noted, I was just there, Two weeks ago, mm -hmm. Dubai is noted it's it's in the Gulf and they provide all of their water supply uh, from we from we you know reverse osmosis sources. Yes. So since 2016, when we would have built and added two million gallons of water per day at uh, Barnacle Point, uh, the government made a commitment to say that listen, you know we need to be um, resilient, mm -hmm. and so we are no longer going to be um, subject to this type of issue. Um, to be dependent on rainfall yes. and rain-driven water production. And so we set about doing that. But again, COVID intervened and a two-year span. Yes. So we're now at a position where we have demonstrated already. I think we APA runs along with ABS, a waterworks program, every Friday. We have already demonstrated that the um, expansion of the um, reverse osmosis facility in the Fry's, Hill area, Fry's Bay area has resulted in the people as far south as Old Road getting an improved supply of water. Um, APUA has indicated that they're going to be putting in a new reverse osmosis plant in the Fort James area. Anyone who visits that area will see that the construction has begun. So it's not a bluff. Work is being done. And um, we have actually gone beyond the 500,000 gallons and have indicated to them that we want to go upwards to approximately 700,000 mm -hmm. gallons. That is going to affect all of St. John's and the rural areas, including the York City Grove, photo of the area. Um, and uh, when that is complete, perhaps maybe by the end of June, July, mm -hmm. because again, they have been suffering from deliverable timelines that are being moved outside of their control. Mm -hmm. The shippers um, have had an effect on the, the timelines. Uh, but we receive weekly updates from cabinet. And this is where we had actually called and asked for um, Messrs. Um, Martin, and Lewis yes. to come to cabinet to explain to us. So we are scheduled to be in a position by the end of November <laughs> to produce upwards of 10 million gallons of uh, reverse osmosis water, which would be, from our forecast, <laughs> sufficient to supply every household in Antigua with portable water. And not just that, Colin, <laughs> but we have also had the, um, the, the concurrent commitment to improve and repair the distribution system because the APU has indicated 
that they're now putting in uh, the HDP pipes, which mm -hmm. are more resilient to earth movement and are less prone to cracks. And so we would expect that there are some areas with the, um, that are in higher elevations. Uh, we have spoken to them about the, uh, the um, inline pumps, the uh, booster pumping stations, and so we would expect them to come back to cabinet with budgets for that as well. I will say this, though, Colin, in closing, that there are no other three areas of government, no other three areas of government, Colin, has received as much funding as yes. health, education, and the water services. Mm -hmm. Over the past year, the government would have spent and allocated more than $130 million mm -hmm. to treat with this particular